makeup is not about conforming to society standards or hiding behind a mask. It's about celebrating who we are at every age and every stage of our lives. It's about boosting our confidence, expressing our unique selves, and feeling radiant from the inside out. Hello beautiful, I'm Yvette, the Virtual Godmother. Welcome to or back to my channel where I inspire beautiful women just like you to prioritize self-care, eat deliciously, and live a little more luxuriously. Today I want to talk to you about something near and dear to my heart, the transformative power of makeup. Stay with me here. For those of you who have not been following me, maybe you don't know, I didn't start wearing makeup until I was around 40. And let me tell you, it was a game changer so if you've seen me do my makeup before you know that I tend to use um, eyeshadow for my brows I just love how I can clean them up really easily and if I mess up because I always do <laughs> I can clean it right up just wipe it off and start over and it doesn't ruin anything um, what do you like to use for your brows? I'm about to try this new, uh, I think it's a NYX product. Um, it's like a brow gel thingy that my niece, who taught me how to do my makeup, got for me. And I can't wait to really um, try it out. Maybe I will um, try that product in the next video. I just love doing my makeup so much. Whenever I swipe on that lipstick or dust on a little bit of blush, I can't help but feel a sense of joy and excitement. It's like adding the finishing touch to my look, enhancing my beauty, and really embracing my individuality. I believe that makeup has the incredible ability to uplift our spirits and really empower us at any age. Yep, just makeup. Can you relate? Have you ever experienced that really incredible boost of confidence you get when you put on your favorite shade of lipstick or try out a new eyeshadow palette? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. I'm sure many of you can relate to the joy of strolling through the aisles of your favorite makeup store. For me, that's Ulta and Sephora. They're like wonderlands of possibilities exploring the latest trends and trying out new products and finding that perfect shade. It's all a part of the excitement. But you know what's even more amazing? Makeup has really become such an enjoyable part of my self-care routine. It's not just about that final look. It's about the process, taking those few extra minutes in the morning to pamper myself, to choose the colors and textures that speak to me. It's a form of self-expression and self-love. As I'm going through my routine, I want you to ask yourself, how does makeup make you feel? Have you ever taken the time to experiment with different looks, colors, and styles? If not, I encourage you to give it a try. Maybe you can recall a time that you got your makeup done, where somebody else did your makeup, and you look at yourself and you're like, gosh, I look good. You know, you know what I'm talking about. You, if you've gotten your makeup done before, you know what I'm talking about. Where you have this look where you're like, mm, wow, I didn't even realize I could look this good. Why not give yourself that feeling every day? Like, why do you wait for a special occasion? Why wait for a special occasion to do your makeup? Or to make yourself look as good as you would like to look or could look? for the day. You deserve to have that special occasion feeling every single day. Life is short. Don't wait to use your china. You know, I've said this so many times before. Life is short. Do the things that you love. 
more of the things that you love. Don't wait for a special occasion to use your good glasses. Drink out of your pretty glasses every day. You know, I think maybe it's something that we learn from our um, elders, from our parents and grandparents, you know, but use it. Use it. If you have some beautiful glasses, some beautiful china, don't let it sit. You use it. Enjoy it. So what is one makeup thing that you have really been dying to try? Um, for me, I do not wear eyeshadow very often and it's because it's something that I feel like I haven't mastered and I know that you can go from looking, um, enhancing your look and being a, a neutral look to looking like a clown really quickly <laughs> with eyeshadow. So I tend to just not use it very often unless it's just a very neutral, a very neutral um, color that I brush along. You know, on the weekends maybe I'll do um, a little gold in the corners or I don't know. So that's something that I'm going to work on. I want to perfect eyeshadows. Um, and if I decide, you know what, I still don't like it after I really learn how to do it, then I, then I just won't because I love the way my makeup looks without it. But what's one thing that you would really like to learn how to do? Tell me about it in the comments section. You know, I hear people say all the time, they give their disclaimers, I'm not a makeup artist, I um, didn't go to school for this, and you know, blah, blah, blah. And I get it, um, and that's okay. I didn't go to school specifically for makeup either. I went to hair school, I learned how to do makeup, I learned how to do hair and nails, and. but the deal is, you practicing doing your makeup every day no one will ever be able to do your makeup knowing the contours of your face and how beautiful you can make yourself look than you. No one will ever be able to do that better than you with practice. Like, embrace the joy of enhancing your natural beauty, playing with new makeup techniques and discovering what truly makes you shine. Remember, makeup is not about conforming to society standards or hiding behind a mask. It's about celebrating who we are at every age and every stage of our lives. It's about boosting our confidence expressing our unique selves and feeling radiant from the inside out. So, my beautiful friends, embrace the transformative power of makeup. Enjoy those little moments of self-care. Indulge in the excitement of trying something new. And remember that you are deserving of feeling beautiful and confident and empowered. I hope this video inspires you to dive into the world of makeup or maybe rediscover the joy it brings. Don't forget to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. I'll be praying for you and I'll see you soon. And hey, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos on self-care, eating deliciously, and living a little more luxuriously. I can't wait to see you over there.